homeless teenager talks about what essentially saved his life. It's estimated about a thousand teens are living on the streets in Denver. Well, now a group called the Providence Network is coming together for Colorado. It is creating what's called the Silver Lining House. As Joel Hillen shows us, the old house at 3rd and Broadway will add to the mission of helping homeless youth. In the midst of my addiction, I just simply wanted to die. Like that was my ultimate goal, just to have the pain end. In two years, Brian went from a homeless drug addict with no home and no hope to a clean and sober productive member of our community. He's a graduate of Providence Network. They already manage four homes like this in the Denver area and the teens housed there. This $1.1 million renovation project starts right here with the main house. On the second floor, you'll have six teenage girls which will be housed. Downstairs, they'll do some training. But across the way, they also have this carriage house on the property which will house six teenage boys. Todd Sexton is one of over a dozen small business owners brought together by Lion Project to restore this house. For him, he sees benefits beyond the service being rendered. A lot of times I find in an office, people, you know, day to day, you just kind of get work done and you don't really kind of connect. And I think on a different level, being able to spend some time out of an office, get to know not only your employees, but then other people that are service minded as well can be very helpful. Like minds and hands coming together for Colorado's homeless youth. And I have options today. I have a wonderful job. I have people around me that love me. I have the opportunity to love other people. Like, that's, that's crazy. That's not something that I could have ever dreamed for myself. In Denver, Joel Hillen covering Colorado First. Providence Network expects the Silver Lining House to be completed by November 1st.